morning everyone. We started our day like super early so uh, the boys are finishing up lunch and I just finished, um, I washed dishes, now I'm doing a load of laundry and I'm trying to think of, my hair's still wet from my shower this morning but um, I'm trying to think of what to make with the ground turkey that I have and I just don't know like I have like random like items in my pantry so I love coming up with stuff like that like that you have to use what you have in your pantry and fridge so I'm gonna come up with something I just don't know what it is yet but I just wanted to check in with you guys hopefully you all saw yesterday's video that recipe came out amazing it is so so good Roel devoured it last night so it, it was delicious it was delicious I'm still writing up the recipe right now so that way I can post it I've seen those faces I've heard all the lies but you ain't gazing on someone in denial cause you want dollar bills right now but you gotta work real hard I know you want it to be easy so let your guard world we are starting our day it is wild it has been wild actually our day has already been started since well for me hi, five o'clock this morning hi, hi honey hi what are you doing I Charlie. you're playing with charlie Look. yeah so they're playing and it's just been loud chaos all morning i have laundry to do i have dishes to do i i barely made my bed right now and then I'm gonna be cooking something later, finally. I've said that I don't know how many times and I just haven't gotten around to doing it. And I'm gonna cook this ground turkey recipe that I always do, like whenever I just have to like throw together what's in my pantry. I've shared it on my Instagram before, I think, but I'm going to make it and show you how it's super simple, super affordable makes a lot and it's delicious <laughs> so let's get this day going. hi guys <laughs> so the day passed us we actually never um got to i never got to cook it was a crazy day with the kids come on focus on me so now i'm here in the laundry room and side note our dryer guys has been broken for like two years and hello. But it actually, like, okay, so the dryer's not broken. It's just the door that's broken. So watch out, Amelia. Don't move the table. So don't mind my, <laughs> my tape. So it's this little part right here. It has a latch that, like, connects into this. And it broke. And, I mean, I don't know if we Googled how to fix it. Maybe we did. And, or maybe, it, I don't know if it could, I don't know if we're able to fix it or if we're not. So if you know how to fix that, leave in the comments below how we can fix that because the dryer works and I refuse to buy another one if we don't need to. So I legit like put tape over this so that little thing stays down and then um, I have to tape it shut so it won't keep opening and I have to keep coming back. So I'm just gonna do some laundry and Amelie's gonna tell you all something. Hi guys, so I have my little Barbies, Chelsea and Butterfly, and I've got a new Barbie. Her, and her Tell the camera, butterfly. baby. Tell the camera. And her name is Butterfly. Butterfly. Butterfly? No, Flutterfly. Flutterfly. Oh, yeah. So it's Flutterfly. <laughs> you had great patience, but something knocked you out. You felt your limitations. 
emotions And filled your mind with doubt You wanna stay chill right now And don't let your eyes off the prize I know you want it to be easy So let your guard down And I said And voila! <laughs> so now it's all folded. Now I need to take all of that upstairs. <sighs> I still don't know if I want to cook tonight. I might just save it tomorrow because at night if I have to bring the ring light out, it's, sometimes it's not as uh, bright. Dad. So. And our dad friend. Daddy just Hubby's got home. Here? Hubby's here. Yeah. <laughs> Hubby's here. Let's go say hi to Hubby. Mommy, I need to say one more thing. So I took Flutterfly's headband away because I didn't want her uh, to have it to, to, have, to fall off. Oh, because you didn't want it to fall off. So yeah, guys, she took Flutterfly's headband away. Look who's home. Hello. <sighs> and her headband is right Hi, babe. Here. Hey, babe. That right here. There's her headband. Yes. And guys, let me show you how cute Jude looks. He, um, oh my God, I can't even begin to explain how rough it was today as a mother. But look at my little guy. He fell asleep. I was, uh, what, I've been watching, I was watching YouTube videos. And now I did wash all the dishes. So that's done. And I do have all the ingredients for, um, for my for the meal that I'm gonna make, but I think I'm gonna wait to make the make it tomorrow when the lighting's better, because the kitchen is just like like the lights are on in the kitchen right now and it's just not bright, and yeah, so I think I'm just gonna wait for daylight. But yeah, this is what we're this is what we're doing, and guys, look at what great of a husband I have. Look at what he brought me. If you know me, you know this yeah. this and sour belts, but you just can't find those good sour belts are my favorite candy in the entire world aside from like Hershey's plain chocolate and every once in a while a Snickers. So, and then I still have to tackle this room which I think I'm gonna do right now because it'll just make me feel better to go to bed. Are you okay? Yeah. And this entire room to be clean. Like I said, it was a day to day with the kids. I like wanted to, I just felt like I wanted to pull my hair out, but I mean, it's totally fine, right? Like kids will be kids. Kids will be kids. Yeah, positive vibes only. So let's clean this playroom up. still playing so hello <laughs> and Jude moved Amelia's Vampirina castle from this table and set up his little town I'm cute. you are cute and then I'm gonna be probably adding more books and stuff up to these shelves and like I'll leave probably pictures but more books that I need to bring from downstairs because I'm working with Jude and the little boy the, the our friend of ours his son their son Charlie um, I'm reading to them more during the day, focusing on like learning their colors, learning their shapes and stuff like that. So yeah. Okay. Part two done. First it was laundry. Well, first it was dishes. I did that. Then laundry. Now the playroom. The living room is already pretty much cleaned up, so I don't have to worry about that. And see the lighting's better like right here in the kitchen because that's like a new light bulb up there. but. Yeah, not really much today. Okay, you guys, uh, Jude is already laying down. Amelia is still awake, but we'll be laying down soon. I just washed my face and I wanted to show you guys so remember I got these in my Costco haul because uh, so many people on Instagram recommended them. Okay, I officially have to say they are incredible. 
They feel so refreshing. So it's the Kirkland from Costco. The uh, face daily facial towelettes. And it's with micellar water for all skin types. You guys, these are the bomb and you buy them in bulk. And so I have like so many and I did give some to my sister-in-law, Lisa, too. So yeah, I just cleaned my face, like washed my face, did all that good stuff. And now we're going to get ready for bed. Mm. Oh, look at that beautiful face. You guys, I love you. Why are you so sad, puppy? So she's so sad, guys, because Roel brought me my favorite candy, Sour Patch Kids, and he didn't bring her anything, but he thought that they were already going to be asleep, so he's like, that's why I didn't do it, but anyways, we're going to work through that, fun for me, and then we're going to go to bed. Okay, bye. And I said... the kids asked for after they ate breakfast which is crazy it was donuts so we hadn't brought them to come eat donuts in a long time so we did hi babe hello say hi babies hi. jude donuts, jude donuts. are you scratching your are you picking your nose or are you scratching it <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and now i didn't want to eat anything from there so i'm gonna go get some breakfast tacos from my favorite uh restaurant here in shirts it's called garcia's they have the best breakfast tacos i haven't found any in this area that will that beat them so that's what i'm gonna have this morning but yes then we're gonna go and just have a fun day hubby still has to go to work and we're gonna miss him and bless you and bless you and bless you yeah, and dog. oh the dog is cute so yeah Right there, look. Right next to the donut shop that we go to, there is a like dog grooming place. So there's always dogs every time we come. But yeah, here, cheers to what's today? Saturday. Happy Saturday. Hello, guys. It is time for Cookie with Val. It's going to be very loud. Amelia has her best friend over. They're playing this game that they're like super obsessed with called Roblox. I, I don't get it. It's totally fine. So I'm going to cook. And I want to show you all, without speeding the video up, exactly what I'm going to do. Hold on, I'm trying to figure out the brightness. Okay, I think that's good. I think y'all can see me pretty clearly. Yes, there we go, much better. So, this is a meal that I make when I want to do something quick, something inexpensive, and this is all you need. You need a can of corn. Shout out to my neighbor for having this because I didn't realize I had run out. A can of beans. I like black beans. You can use pinto if you want. A can of rotel. And then a salsa of your choice. I love this red salsa from Trader Joe's. It is, uh, it's so delicious. It's like the right amount of flavor, like the right amount of little spice. I mean, it's not very hot. Like, here's a little hot meter. Let's see if I can get it to focus for you all. Yeah. So yeah, right there. Mild is at the bottom, so it's like, you know, halfway. But it's really, really good. I love this one, and I also love their green version, their salsa verde. It's really good, too. And then you just need one pound of either ground beef, or for me, I prefer ground turkey. So I'm going to use that. And then spices. Okay. For the spices, you definitely need some comino or... Um, ground cumin, some garlic powder, salt and pepper, and you're gonna do salt and pepper to taste, so salt and pepper. And then if you wanna go a little spicier, you there's other things that you can add, like you can add some chili flakes, but I also like to add a little bit of paprika. I don't know why it's coming out so dark. A little bit of paprika and also I'm 
probably gonna add a little bit of turmeric just cause, you know. It's like a peppery flavor type spice. But yeah, I'm so I'm gonna add these also. And I probably will do like, okay, so the salt and pepper I do to taste. And the, um, the rest of the spices, I kind of just like wing it. But if you wanted to, I would say maybe for sure a teaspoon each of the ground cumin and the garlic. So a teaspoon each of these. And then I would say half a teaspoon, if you wanted to measure, half a teaspoon of these, the paprika and the turmeric. And then like I said, the salt and pepper to taste. You are going to drain the black beans and the corn, so it's gonna be drained. So, let's do this. So I'm gonna start right now by starting to cook up the meat. And because I get, I get the 93, 93% lean, I am gonna just spray, just so it doesn't stick, a little bit of coconut oil, just like, like that, just a dab of coconut oil. And then I'm gonna get my handy dandy, like a knife, just to cut this open. And then I'm gonna let that start cooking while I drain out the, um, the, the beans and the corn. So, yeah. And you guys, so this is why I normally play music over the parts of cooking because it is so hard when the kids are home. Well, which like Jude's always home, but it's so hard to like not, not have them screaming and yelling in the background. So I apologize ahead of time that if you all can hear all the noise, but you know, they're having fun, so. Okay, so while that's cooking up, this is my favorite spatula. I think I got it at HEB maybe to like break up the um, the ground meat. So I'm gonna go ahead and go and drain these. Be right back. Hmm? Where'd you leave it? 
gonna go find it. No, not in there. Remember, you don't play with those ones. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna start adding a little bit of the pepper and salt. If you were to ask me, I would say I put about a half teaspoon of pepper. And you guys, I'm obsessed, obsessed with garlic powder. So to me, like, that's just, you know, if I had to give you, like, my top five seasonings to have in your pantry, um, besides salt and pepper, because I feel like those are a staple, I would have to say garlic powder, paprika, Trader Joe's chili lime, is another favorite. Look, look, look. And I would look, say, look. okay, thank you. Some Tia. comino or ground cumin. I would say that's it's another staple. Pop. So that's but four and then five. Pop. I do love turmeric because turmeric yeah. does like give like a little like, it gives that color, but it also gives that little like flair to, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but. I would say that those are like, besides salt and pepper, like those are the things that I could not like have. Like not, I couldn't live without those spices. No, Poppy, don't play with that. So if you all want to, comment down below what your favorite spices to cook with are. Like what are your staples? Like what are you like, what are you like, oh my God, like I'm out of this certain spice. Like I have to go to the store now to go get it before you can continue. Because for me, I feel like garlic powder, like if I didn't have any, I don't, yeah. And then I do love minced garlic also, which if you wanted to give that extra, you could totally add some minced garlic into here. I didn't even think about it, which now that sounds kind of tasty, so maybe I will get a little bit. A bit more, I'm gonna add the rest. So I'm gonna just do like, like I said, like a half a teaspoon of paprika and a half a teaspoon of, oh my God, that just looks beautiful already, okay? And then a little bit of cumin. Ground cumin, or like we say in Spanish, comino. Comino? Can you say comino? Comino. Mmm, yummy. Oh guys, like this already, just this right here, smells so good. And then like here's a little tip that if you want like for meal prepping purposes, for meal prepping purposes, you guys could like cook up the ground turkey and just have that as your protein and you can pair it up with different things through the week instead of like putting all this other stuff into it and making the meal. You could have ground turkey or ground beef as your protein source and then during the week pair it with a vegetable and a carb. So like you could pair it with uh, sweet potato and green beans or broccoli and red potatoes or you could even get some green beans throw a little bit of pasta sauce and have it with some with some veggie noodles or some protein noodles. Um, I love the bonza pasta because it is higher in protein than a lot of the other pastas out there. And Barilla has this angel hair pasta that's protein pasta. It's very high in protein and it tastes super yummy. I like the angel hair. So yeah, those are just some little quick tips if you're meal prepping and you kind of like don't want to have the same thing. For those of you who don't want to have the same thing for like days in a row, which just me, I don't mind. It's easy for me like that, especially um, being at home with Jude all day. Like, it's okay, honey. Sometimes it's just easier for me just to have the meal ready to go. You see guys, look at like that turmeric cake gives it like this golden brown look, which is so beautiful. However, oh, it smells so good. Like I would just eat it just like this. <laughs> oh my God, you could totally
only like this right here with those seasonings. I just thought of this. Some nacho chips on a plate with this, some cheese and some beans. Some pico de gallo and an avocado. Mm, you got yourself some homemade nachos. And with these spices, I promise you, let me know if you try it, because these spices, like together, it's a really good flavoring. Like it's just a good combo. I used to be, guys, I used to like, no lie, be, be afraid of trying different, um, trying different spices. Like I would literally, hold on, I would literally just use the same spices over and over again which would just be like salt, pepper, garlic powder. I had never purchased paprika. I had never purchased like other seasonings. And then once I started experimenting, it's like, oh my gosh, like you can create the most incredible dishes with basic food where the seasoning just makes the biggest difference. So I encourage you all to experiment with seasonings. Go out, go get yourself some paprika, go get yourself some uh, turmeric. I mean, there's just, I, you guys, there's so many seasonings out there, like so, so many. But let's keep going. So see, now that this is all cooked up and it looks so beautiful, now we're going to add in the salsa, which this jar is always so hard to open. We're gonna add in the salsa so it can like simmer in there with the meat for a little bit. Oh my God, it smells so good. This salsa, mm. for those those friends of mine who are from Alice that don't have a Trader Joe's, next time you come to San Antonio, get go to Trader Joe's and just buy their salsa. This one and their salsa better than, Like this is just good just to have like, you have a little get together at your house, like salsa's the bomb. Okay, and then we're gonna add now the Rotel. We're gonna add the Rotel now. Okay. Move these over here so it doesn't get hurt. Mix that in there. See, and now it kind of has like, from the salsa, it has like that, like, you know, like the soupy, like, texture. And you guys, no lie, you could still stop right here and still pair this with so many different things. Pair this over pasta, pair this over rice, like, and it would be good just like this. So if you're not, you know, into like corn and beans and stuff like that, you could stop right here and it would be still an amazing dish. Now last but not least, we're gonna add the corn and the black beans, which is the last step of this recipe. Just mix it in there and then you're just we're just gonna lower the heat and just let it simmer and then you guys that's it it's done pour uh, serve it over rice top it with some um, sour cream or if you want to go a healthier version or um, then sour cream you could do some plain Greek yogurt and squeeze some lemon or lime juice in it and it literally tastes like sour cream no lie and you can top that with that, some avocado. I don't have any avocado right now, which I wish I did. Even though, um, little uh, true story about me, I have learned that like I'm allergic to avocado, but I still eat it anyway, because it's so delicious. Okay, so now I'm just gonna lower that heat. We are going, so that's it right there. That's the finished product. I'm going to just let it simmer for a little bit you guys then it's done I'm not ready to eat right now, but I wanted to make it so when I am ready I won't just stuff my face with something else. I'll eat that instead and I probably will serve it just just like that with a little sprinkle of cheese on it But that has so many possibilities like I'm telling you, you could serve it over rice like you could Do so many things so I hope you all enjoyed this cook with me where I talked through the cook with me with you all. Let me know if you want to see more cook with me's like that where I actually talk through the cooking with you. 
Jude, that straw's dirty. <sighs> this kid, he give him a chair and he's just like all over the place. But yep, so we're done with this. And I already know it's gonna be delicious because I make this actually quite a bit. So I don't know what we what we have planned for the rest of the day, but I will see you all later. Bye.